Certainly lots of crispy bits in there. I left all the crispy bits on because they're my favourite bits. Mmm. The crunchy bits are delicious. The richness of that sauce is great. There's a nice hit of, of quality whiskey in there, which is unusual, but I think it works really well with the chips. And, yeah. you know, put that on a menu in Scotland and you'd have a queue of 100 miles long. Put that on a menu anywhere. I think that tastes great. George, how do they go on the dipper meter? <laughs> very, very oh, good. Yeah. It's, it's red lining. Mm. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great stuff. Thank you. Good work, Aloise. Woo! Aloise. Today, I'm cooking oven roasted chips. I'm going to do a roasted garlic mayonnaise. My chips are all on the go. I've got my garlic in the oven, which is going to be for my roasted garlic aioli. But I start questioning whether that might be just a little bit too simple. So my brain starts ticking over, and I think I might make a smoky whiskey sauce instead. And I grab some vinegar, tomato, apples, and whiskey. I blitz up my apples with some vinegar and water, added that to the tomato, and just get that reducing and thickening as well. I've chosen these flavours because my dream is to have a whiskey and dessert bar and I really, really love incorporating whiskey with food. I know that this particular one I've chosen is really smoky and really delicious and I think it's going to work amazingly well as a dipping sauce for chips. I go to check my chips in the oven and they're really not looking good. My chips haven't cooked properly and I am starting to feel really nervous. I've got chips in the oven which are not going brown, so I'm just not really sure where I am right now. But my fryer's on, so I chuck them in the deep fryer. I've got no other options left, so hopefully it's going to work out well. Seven minutes to go! Seven minutes! My sauce is ready. I think it's got a really nice smoky flavour to it. I'm happy with it. I really like it. I just hope the judges do. I take the chips out of the freezer and get them back in the really hot oil. Really important I've got enough time to do this because they need to be lovely and golden and crispy on the outside. I'm triple cooking these chips. They've been fried once already and sat in the freezer. They come out and they're ready for their final fry. The judges questioned Kipfler potatoes. The Kipflers might not be the best choice for frying. They look pretty good, but I'm worried about how they are inside. I taste one, and they're still pretty waxy and flowery in the middle. Just a touch longer. I'm thinking I've chosen the wrong potato. Because I had to start my chips all over again, I've wasted a lot of time. So I'm only now deep frying my pipe boiled chips for the first time. Come on, Missy. It's not colouring. I'm just worried they're not going to be as crispy. It's waiting. So I crank up the heat to 190 degrees and just hope for the best for them. I've got two different lots of crisps and chips on the go and I'm still trying to work out which one will work out best in the end. I've got some beautiful crisps, but my chips are not browning up. Two minutes to go! Come on, two minutes! I pull out the basket and they look amazing. They're looking so good. Okay, I'm so relieved. I didn't think that a chip could cause so much stress. Chips and it's a woman. Come on, guys. My chips are not as golden as what I want them to be, but I'm hoping they'll be crispy enough to actually get me through. Chips aren't crunchy and I'm just so confused about what to do. I grab my chips and put them in the bowl instead of using my crisps and I just hope I've made the right decision. What a brilliant cook. Who would have thought chips and dips could be so exciting? And exciting for us, because we're about to taste. So, Aram, I think you'll be first. Aram, Hi. so, chips barbecue sauce, yes? Yes, the triple cooked chips. I boiled them first, then cooked them at 160 in oil to seal them, and then crunched them up at the last minute. But the, you know the problem is when things are as crunchy as that, <laughs> everything goes out of our mind other than Aye. must eat. Mm. 
Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, fair enough. Gee, I really like that. That's what makes chips addictive, is just, it is absolutely the crunch, isn't it? Mm. But that sauce is yeah. smoky and balanced well, the right amount of heat, it's just delicious. And the right dippiness. Does that make any sense? Yeah, so yeah. Dippiness is important. <laughs> there is a you know, dip dipometer and that's... Uh, yeah. I'm it's, on the dipometer scale. Stand up. <laughs> Great. Get me away from them <laughs> now. now. Yeah. That's my favorite. It feels really good to get feedback like this. I had such a good time cooking, and the fact that judges love it as well, it's just the best feeling. It's really good. The sauce, I know, is really good, but these chips are questionable. I know inside they're going to be a little tough. Benjamin. Hello, Jess. Kind of excited about this one. Chips and curry sauce. Childhood memories for it, you. It is a little bit. I've used kip for potatoes. That's a great curry sauce. But for me, the sauce is not the issue. Just not crispy. Brown, but not crispy. So waxy, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, I don't love it. I don't love it at all. The potatoes are soggy. So the joy of taking that crispy chip, putting it into a hot curry sauce is kind of lost on me. Wrong choice of potato. Cool. I've made polenta crusted chips with a porcini mayo. Really, I've never thought of that. Polenta on the outside of the chip and frying it. Great idea. Sam, what's the dish? Twice cooked chips with a chicken and rosemary gravy. Even though they're pale, I can still hear some crunching going on. And I, I love the idea of gravy. Tamara? So I've done hot chips with chilli jam and a mayo. That and that together <sighs> are really yum. Samuel? done thrice cooked chips with a tomato chutney and aioli. That is oh, fantastic. You could cook us lunch later, maybe <laughs> that with some steamed fish. <laughs> <laughs> As the judges come up to my bench, I am worried about the crispiness. That's essential to chips. You really need that crunchy texture. So, Josh, when I came round about 12 minutes to go, your baked chips weren't crisping up. I decided to put them in the deep fryer to give a nice crispy texture. So you blanched them, you Pretty baked nice. them, you grilled them, <laughs> and you fried them. <laughs> so you actually invented now not the thrice cooked trip, but the quadruple cooked trip. Sure, yeah. I'll run with that. Give us the name of the dish. Sweet potato and potato chips with horseradish mayo. In the, the chips in that pan. Mostly butter. They're not that crispy. I love the sweet potato chips. Yep. They're delicious. But we've had some problems with the actual potato chips. Yeah. I knew my mistake in the chips. I just can't believe that I made that mistake in the MasterChef kitchen. I'm waiting for the judges to come up to my bench and I'm so nervous. I'm shaking like a leaf and I'm terrified. Louise. Hi. What is it? This is twice cooked chips with a whiskey sauce. A whiskey sauce. What else is in the sauce? I had some tomato passata and some apples, which I stewed and then pureed through. You pleased? Considering it wasn't what I initially intended to do, I'm happy with how it's turned out. Certainly lots of crispy bits in there. I left all the crispy bits on because they're my favourite bits. Mmm. The crunchy bits are delicious. The richness of that sauce is great. There's a nice hit of, of quality whiskey in there, which is unusual, but I think it works really well with the chips. And, yeah. you know, put that on a menu in Scotland and you'd have a queue of 100 miles long. Put that on a menu anywhere. I think that tastes great. George, how do they go on the dipper meter? <laughs> Very, very oh, good. Yeah. It's it's redlining. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Great stuff. Thank you. Good work, Alice. I'm not sure if my chips are going to be crunchy enough today, but I'm hoping my nacho style dips will actually get me through. Pia, what have you cooked? Nacho style chili chips, a fresh salsa, grated cheese, and avocado dip. Go on then, load them up. Load them up? Okay. Yeah, load. Oh my gosh.
think, oh, that's great and it's quite nostalgic, but this was about chips yep. and dips. Yep. The chips aren't crispy and aren't what they should be. You know that. Yep. Mm. Right, Jess. So I've made a roast garlic hummus with a balsamic and pomegranate glaze and twice cooked pink salt chips. The centre is undercooked because it needs to be steaming and, and fluffy, doesn't it? And then you've got, oh, these look amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you'd mix them. Yep. Put them on there, you would have given us a totally different take on chips and dip. But sadly, you didn't put these chips out, you put those ones out. Yeah. I'm just worried because my chips aren't golden brown and I just feel like I haven't done my best. Michelle. What's the dish? Chips with tomato sauce, feta crumbles and parsley. The sauce is delicious, and actually I like it as an idea. I like the flavours, but you've got problems with the chips. There's very little crispiness in amongst those, and some of them actually are quite soggy, to be honest. Yeah. You're in trouble as far as I'm concerned. I agree with the judges that the chips haven't cooked properly. I'm just worried I'm going to be in the bottom four. Obviously today we're looking study for the bottom four. If I call your name, please step forward. Jess. Josh. Benjamin. And Michelle. Michelle, Josh, Jess, Benjamin, you're in round two where you're fighting for your place in this competition. The rest of you, well done. After the game. <laughs>